For many years, Bo brought holiday cheer to the Obama White House. As did Barney to the Bushes. This year, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania sent out Christmas greetings without a presidential pet, unlike many previous first families. Most famous Obamas, we have Bo and Sonny Obama. Woo! Through the years, pets have served as companions to occupants of the White House while also playing a unique role. In a way, it does make them more relatable to Americans. You know, um, many Americans have dogs and cats and... In a way, I think it, it sort of softens their image a little bit and it shows them beyond their role just as commander-in-chief. It's been a rough week for Barney. He was rumored to have been a top contender for Secretary of State, Attorney General, and Secretary of Education. But Barney has yet to be tapped for any senior-level position. George Bush's Scottish Terrier, Barney, often helped lighten the mood at the White House. Barney, I know you wanted to be in my cabinet, but I've already given you an important job. Your job is to take care of Miss Beasley. Other notable pets include Socks, President Bill Clinton's cat. And then if you want to come up one at a time and pet Socks, you can. Macaroni, President John F. Kennedy's daughter's pony, and Checkers, President Richard Nixon's dog. As a candidate for vice president in 1952, Nixon was accused of accepting illegal gifts. To clear his name, he gave a detailed account of his property, including Checkers, who was a gift. And I just want to say this right now, that regardless of what they say about it, we're going to keep it. There was also Rebecca the raccoon that had actually been sent to the White House to be served for the 1926 Thanksgiving dinner, but President Calvin Coolidge decided to keep her as a pet. And the most famous presidential pet of all... Warren G. Harding's uh, dog, Laddie Boy. I mean, he was really, I think, sort of the first celebrity pet. Uh, so he participated in the egg roll. Uh, he had his own chair in the White House for, for, for presidential meetings. Uh, I mean, he was sort of a media sensation uh, in the early 1920s. It's really great to have the whole family together like this. It really is special. Costello added that Laddie Boy set the trend for pets serving to humanize the president to make him more likable and just like anybody else. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House. We got two